Today, let's break down a common type of cancer drug known as mitomycin C, which can be abbreviated as mito or MMC. And in past videos, we've talked about different types of oncology treatments that used our immune system or that were biologics. But in this case, this is a chemotherapy drug and it's also a small molecule. It's used in a variety of different cancers, including lung, cervical, breast, bladder, and pancreatic. And typically when it's used, it's given via an IV drip, so directly into someone's bloodstream. But depending on where the cancer is located, it can be given in other ways, such as if it's bladder cancer, this drug can be delivered via a catheter right to the bladder. And mitomycin C is typically used in combination with other treatments, such as radiation. Now the way that mitomycin C works is that once it's inside of our body, it's able to enter our cells. And once inside of our cells, it becomes activated and it heads to the nucleus. And the nucleus is where our DNA is housed. And once mitomycin C interacts with our DNA, it intercalates with it, or it holds on and it doesn't let go. Therefore, it causes a lot of DNA damage and it doesn't allow our DNA to begin to replicate. And that replication process is critical to allow for one cell to turn into two cells and so on. Therefore, with mitomycin C attached to our DNA, that process can't happen and eventually that cell will die. Now, mitomycin C does have a higher affinity for cancer cells because they are faster replicating. However, it can affect healthy cells as well. And in the laboratory at high doses of mitomycin C, it's also been shown to interfere with RNA production as well as protein production.